How's it going YouTube? This is Roman with Venture Customs, Philadelphia Van Conversion Company. Behind me, we have a brand new custom build that we just finished up, has a ton of new features. So try to keep up and check it out. This customer came out to us all the way from Tennessee and had this custom creation they wanted us to build and this is what we came up with. It's a pretty sick van with an interior that can house a cat or two and a dog and a couple humans, a few actually. Check it out. We'll start with the exterior of the van because look at it. It looks freaking awesome. Obviously, biggest thing that we started off with is this 270 degree awning. It wraps all the way around the van. It is awesome it actually is super functional not too hard to set up either after you do it a few times and it's by overland vehicle if you're looking for your own this does fit like majority of vehicles we had to custom fabricate into this awning slash roof rack but it worked out really good and i'm super happy with it we also gave them our lighting package which is a 360 degree package rigid side awning lights 50 inch led baja designs led bar this customer also got a couple add-ons after that, like the rigid lights in the back rear bumper and type S lights in the front and Baja design ditch lights on their hood mounts as well. So this thing can light up your entire field, no problem. We did not stop there. We went forward and put flare spaces on the van with the windows. We wrapped and lined it all with the bed liner, tough urethane style paint to keep it scratch resistant. We also wrapped and lined the, all the plastics on the van and added some fenders to it. Fitted the van with the Van Compass 4.3 stage lift kit. Makes it handle much better. Every 4x4 all wheel drive van needs it because Mercedes just simply lifted the van that's a regular two-wheel drive van four inches and didn't upgrade the suspension so upgrade your suspension people you'll not regret it these alvan wheels come with two air valves so you can air down super quick and air up how you're going to air up we fitted this van with a twin motor arb air compressor so you can air up and blow out your van because it is the easiest way by far to clean out your van. I wish it was that easy to clean your house. Back over here, we fitted the van with not one or two one-up racks. We fitted with three one-up racks because there's a family of three. They want to bring all three bikes quickly, mount them on the back and move on to a different trail because sometimes you want to hit four, three different trails a day. That's the best way to do it. And this is where the outlet is for the air. We hit it underneath the bumper so that the vehicle has a good clearance on their departure angle when they're climbing steep terrain. Fifth spare out here, a big Alvan box, and it's all mounted on the Invader rear door rack. We also outfitted the rear bumper by Backwoods, and they got a cool geographical landscape wrap, Backwoods ladder. It's made out of aluminum. We only use aluminum and stainless steel on our vans. Please do that if you are building your own and a running board by Al Van. In the front here, we fitted it with a bull bar Al Van Pismo bumper, which you can add a winch in the front, which just gave them some D-rings to tow it out if they need to. And the Type S lights in the grill, which gives it a nice clean look. Oh, you can't forget, which is easy because it fits so nicely. The solar panel on the hood. This thing is so cool. I love the solar panel. I think I'm gonna get it on my van because it just adds a little more solar you can never have enough solar or battery which by the way this van has a thousand amp hours and i forgot to mention we mounted a gray tank that has heated lines running throughout the van so that nothing can freeze it's a four season van and it is flush mount underneath the van as well so when they're off-roading nothing is in danger of getting hit so before we hop on in we have a flip out little dining table here you can have a nice cookout Little shoe storage cubby down here. You can always still want to be able to remove your step for the people building their own vans. All right, now we're pretty much done on the outside. Now let's hop in. This is going to be a tall, hot, tallest hop I've ever done. <laughs> okay, right off the bat, you're open to a nice modern style cabin like we typically do, and it's really clean and roomy. It's white spacious feeling there's a lot going on in this van yet it still feels like you can fit four people comfortably in here 
seat swivels on the driver and passenger seat here, allowing you to move this lagoon table around and have a nice little area to work in. You have a monitor up here that's on a removable bracket. You can always take it off if you need to. And they got a seat over here for their little one. They got a little cool wood antique cup holder, a little place for iPads and such. And then this is a cool little part that we added. We scribed a little box for the storage. It also hides the uh, brackets of the seat, which I really like, but there is a lot of storage in there. They want a storage for the kid's book. The kid is, I believe, gonna be homeschooled while they're on the road. Also, I almost forgot about the little storage box that we custom made and carpeted for them in the front here. They do have a dog also, and they wanted the dog to sit in between the seats, so we added this cool little box. I try to keep up with the amount of times I say storage because there is a ton of it in here. So not a huge kitchen, but this makes it a pretty nice size kitchen. Plenty for whatever you want to throw at it. It's a thin skate countertop, so it's really solid, scratch resistant, easy to maintain. We have a nice little cutting board, which is a sink filler. You can also use your faucet outside here and shower up and rinse off if you need to. Little soap dispenser there. And I really like the way that it flows with all the white and kind of balances out really well in this van with the wood and the wood ceiling. Everything is natural and gives you like a handcrafted feeling. In this kitchen cabinet, we still were able to max out the storage with a big under sink storage in there. You can fit uh, carry on bags in there. Push the open drawers. As you see, everything has plenty of space in the room. I hate when camper vans come in and I can't even fit in between the cabinets. This has plenty of space for people to walk by still for being custom. I just want you guys to pay attention to the little details that we do. All the cabinets come out flush to each other, even on our custom builds. That's a attention to detail that we kind of pride ourselves in. It takes hours and hours of planning before the van even gets here to get that stuff to line up perfectly. And we got a big upper cabinet storage here, a marine slam latch. You might wonder why. Well, because we put a foam flooring in here, keep their things that are expensive like cameras and laptops and this screen actually fits perfectly in here when they have it out of their way right there they also have usb charger and one 10 volt charger up here and the slam latch actually has a little key to lock it so you're able to store your expensive items in there and out of the way the rear passenger here also has a nice window that we installed with a buck screen if they like to get some fresh air. And we also put in this custom cut curtain. Up here we have our signature control panel that we scribe in out of yellow pine out of South Carolina. This is pretty cool pine, it's nice and strong. We laser engraved our Venture Customs logo in there, of course. Battery monitor, keep track of your stuff. Inverter, charger, controller our high-tech sea level water gauge monitor, water pump switch, Wabasto diesel heater, it's located underneath the seat, garage lights so you can have it on and off from back or front, and water heater switch, 12 volt water heater, so it's super efficient, tank pads, gray valve, so you can dump your gray valve with just the click of a button, or there's a manual valve down there too if you have issues with that. And over here is one of our favorite parts of this build, I am super excited for this part and it was super fun to build. Our guys had a lot of fun building this. They had to scribe to the side of the van and put all these cubbies in, laminate it, router it out. Uh, and I think it turned out awesome. We were also able to load it up and test it to make sure that it can remain without a lock and still be a push to open. It works really good. I'm really happy the way it turned out. The Venture guys, killed it with that. And here we have a microwave and a ton of storage you would think, but it's actually a cat house. We'll get to that in a second. We have a big microwave in here. That's RV friendly, maybe the Tundra. And a little cubby to the side to charge your things while you're driving in here as well. So you have two spots to fit and charge your electronics and have them out of your way. 
Below that we have a big old fridge. It is a 110 volt, but we only wired it as a 12 volt because it's more efficient, but it's a 110 liter fridge. There's plenty of space to put all your food in here. I lived in one that was half the size without an issue. Big old drawer. You can squeeze a whole carry-on lug in there. And moving back into the bedroom of this house on wheels, we have the cat house area. This is designated area to the cat. We had a lot of different plans and ways to play with, but we came up with this. We didn't want to sacrifice too much for the cats, but they got their own part of the van. This is really cool. They got a little step up into the little hammock where they can hang out a little scratch pole and they can hop on into their little cat house and hang out here while they're driving. We're gonna give them a little door that flips down with uh, breathing holes as well so with a little window so they can see that they're chilling in there. Cats, you can't really take them out on walks and have them go to the bathroom in there. So we added a litter box. That's what this little cubby hole is for here. Next to that, we have more storage big old box of storage right there. The box out part is actually the wheel well. And then over here, we have another big old box for storage. See a little part of the wheel well there too. And above that bench, there's four ports of USB chargers, another 110 volt outlet. And there's also four ports of USB chargers here and a 110 volt outlet over here on this side of the van as well as LED dimmer control, puck lights control. There's four separate dimmers, so they can control four different zones. We recess the LEDs into our cabinets where you open them and don't see any wiring. It's just a nice, clean, pre-finished cabinet. Only proper lightweight materials are used in all of our builds. And gas struts to keep all your cabinetry up and RV latches to keep it all locked in place while you're driving so make sure that nothing's falling out on your passengers too and then over here if you have some friends you can have them over play some cards over here there's a cool hangout area in this van which i kind of like because of how much stuff we fit in here there's also a hangout area over there so you can have a group of six people in this van hanging out and not feel like they are too scrammed in here this is a cool push to open table it's actually really sturdy. Underneath that, you have access to your massive garage storage underneath the bed. We actually extended this bed a few inches in order to fit their cool cubby storage that's in the back of the van that you see that little nightstand area back there. We'll get to that from the back of the van, but from up here, it is a really good, useful nightstand area where you can charge your phones and lay your stuff down while you're in bed. You have your reading lights next to you too. So there's USB chargers over here as well. There's over 20 USB chargers in this van. For our customers, please buy everything in USB form to charge. There's a little 12 volt fan that's back there. You can circulate it wherever way you want. It's super quiet and nice. There's more cubby storage in the doors here as well. These are cut out little cubbies that is on the back doors and the sliding doors as well. We have our favorite air conditioner. This is what makes our vans four seasons. We have a diesel heater that's 12 volt and we have a 12 volt air conditioner that can run on this battery system for over 60 hours, which is even more mind blowing than our previous builds because that system is huge. You can run this fan to suck all the air out of here. It opens up automatically like so. Opens the lid, doesn't let any rain in. It's actually really quiet. You're just hearing the motor that opens the lid. And right now you're hearing the sound of air moving because the motor is silent. You can't even hear it. And moving back towards the front of the van here, we have our control center for our lights. There is a lot of different switches. We actually used up all eight of them. And there's a secret button right here to turn it on if you want to keep the little neighbor's rascal kids away and from draining your battery. That's okay because it's gonna take them a long time to drain these batteries because this is all connected to your auxiliary batteries back in the van, which you can run all these lights for days without draining your batteries. We had our electrician Dan surgically place fit this button in here for our air compressor. So we have onboard air as well. Can't forget about the bug screen. This is by Van Essential. It works great, pulls down and just can 
have magnets in your way of in and out of the van. The back bug screen is by another company that's insulated too, and it goes up with magnets. Pretty awesome, very useful on the East Coast. It's beautiful out right now, and it is a matter of days until the bugs are just gonna start clouding into your van. And welcome to the back of this van where we fitted it with some custom-made wooden panels to keep that wood style going from the ceiling down to the doors. We also added a lot of little knickknacks like this little netting storage all over the van as you see. And this opens up to our massive under bed storage. We fitted everything to the walls as much as possible, squeezing every inch that we could for the water system and the electrical system. As I said, we have a thousand amp hours in here. Super beefy electrical system with the Dakota lithium batteries is the only way that it is possible to fit that many amp hours in your electrical system and still have this much space of storage. They can handle negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh wait, we have the coolest back storage cubbies that we've ever done or really have seen, it was actually inspired by another builder. I forget their name, but they had a really rugged uh, mountain bike build. Uh, so thank you for everyone else doing all the research for us, but this was inspired by them. Uh, this is really useful. You can just reach in and grab things like little helmets and stuff like that. Instead of reaching in, you have quick, easy storage right here, and it also acts as a nightstand. So I actually really like it. I didn't think I would like it at all until we built it and then I was like, okay, I can actually use this every day. Our sliding tray is our own invention. We are gonna put strap downs for totes. They can have up to three, six stacked up here. And if they don't want to, they can just pop this platform off and they get their height of their garage storage back immediately. Uh, that was invented on accident because we were supposed to put in a tray and the customer and us came up with this little invention last second and it's been working really good for everyone because you can still store brooms and long items like fishing rods underneath that. And then next to that we have our famous camel roof rack bike tray that we teamed up and designed together. It has straps that you can access the straps that you can strap your containers and boxes for this couple coolers down with. It can handle 500 pounds, so you don't have to worry about damaging it with your cooler. Powder coated aluminum, so you can pull it out and power wash it without worrying about damaging anything. Our water system actually has a wheel well water tank. It is molded around the wheel well and it works great. It has 30 gallons of capacity and our 12 volt water heater is housed up here. You also have some storage next to that, believe it or not. And behind that cubby, you have even more storage over there, which is even easier to access from the back of the van, things that you don't need every day. And this is where we fill up our 30 gallons of water. Below that is where we have our outdoor shower, as you see. We're hooked up right now, ready to roll. I would just press the stop and go button and shower up like this. You have hot and cold. You also have this little Dura Faucet nozzle garden hose sprayer, which you can use that usually comes with it for spraying off your bikes and any dirty gear that you went out for hiking, came back and need to wash off. And now we're gonna shoot up onto the roof to show some new features that are an add-on now. All right, welcome to the roof of the van. Here we have a ton of solar power. We have traction pads for those sticky situations, our max air fan, a little bit of space besides that. And this is the part that's a new add-on is a Starlink. Now you have two options, WeBoost or Starlink. Either way, you can work from your house on wheels wherever you are. All right, that pretty much wraps it all for us today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, know what you think in the comments and don't forget to venture on.